This is the seventh of a series of videos I've been doing on using Google Chrome on an Android phone. And this one is on using multiple tabs. To be able to do that, I need to show you my um, Android screen. All right. Okay. Previously, on a, pre on a previous video, I showed how to move uh, surf the web by going from one web page to another page to another page and then going back. Trouble is, if you want to go to particular pay, uh, go to a particular item, uh, in doing that, you've got to go. If you go all the way back, you've got to go forward again and back. And by the way, it didn't show forward, but anyway, just to show you how forward works, that's the forward button. If you uh, ha have gone back and you want to go forward again, you press this button up here, all right? Just to show how that works. All right, if I go to that page and then I go back again, oh, hold on, yes, I think it's going to work. Go back again. No, that one's not going to work because it's done a slightly different way. All right, <laughs> anyway, back to tabs. All right, all right, uh, in fact, that's why it didn't work because this page is set up to open pages in a new tab. All right, just to show you how what that actually means, is if I do go onto that, you'll notice this number up at the top here changed from a 1 to a 2. Whoops, just gone out of it, my apologies. And now it's changed to a 3. That means there are three tabs open. And if I want to change from one tab to another, I just touch that button, and there we are. There's using smartphones. There's Wikipedia on smartphones, and there's another Wiki, uh, and one other one called a new tab. So if I touch that one, I'm back to that tab. If I touch that one, and then I touch that one, I'm back to that tab. I touch that one, and I go to that. I'm at the new tab. All right. So that's the advantage of doing it. You don't have to wait for the page to load. It's already loaded into the phone's memory. All right. So you don't have to. Uh, go back and forth, you can jump across to any tab that you want. Now, another thing to do with that, right? Um, for example, let's go here, I've gone to the Bureau of Meteorology, right? If I go to that page, and then I want to go to another page from that page, right? And I go there, I normally touch on a page to go to another page. For example, I want to go on the um, uh, Bureau of Meteorology uh, home page, but rather than touching it, this time I'm going to do a long touch, and notice it comes up with two things. Uh, it comes up with a new new uh, menu, but one of the menu items is open in a new tab. If I do that, nothing appears to have happened. However, if I touch the tabs up here, you'll notice this one here, the last one I opened, is Australia's official web forecast. That is the Bureau of Meteorology's home page. In other words. I can continue to read where I was on that previous page and it opens the other page while I'm still reading the previous page. All right. So just to go back again, uh, that's the one with the radar loops on it then. Uh, and I want to go to an, open another page again. All right. Uh, I want to view current warnings. Rather than touching it, I do a long press on it. Say open in a new tab. Something appeared to have happened there. And you'll notice that's incremented from four to five now. So the current warnings for Queensland are on my tab five. If I go to the there, and there's, unfortunately, it doesn't number the tabs. It'd be nice if it do. All right. There's the warning ones. All right. Okay. If you want to close the tabs that you have open, all right, all you simply do is open it like that. Okay. And press the X on it. Four. Press, um, to, to that again. Press the X on that one, it's dropped down to three, down to two, uh, two, down to one. That's how you do it. If you want to open a completely blank one while you've done that, by the way, I'll just go back to the page I was at before, which is uh, this one. If I want to open up a blank web page that I can search on and just type the information in, I just touch the number there again, and notice this plus up here. I'm just touching that. And there, it's opened up a new blank page, right, ready for me to go. Okay, so that's how you use, use tabs. Now, the advantage of tabs is it's much, much faster. And by the way, when you come out of your web browser, and even if you switch your phone off and you switch it on again a couple of days later, all your tabs will still be there. So if you want to leave something in there in tabs for a long while, you can do that. So, uh, however, 
the more tabs you use, the more memory of your phone you use up, and eventually you will start to run out of memory. But anyway, that's tabs and the advantage of tabs. All right. Any questions, send me an email. Bye.